I used to be a runner for several years and I'd had a lot of injuries that caused me to have um, multiple surgeries. I had four surgeries in three years and the final one was a pretty intensive surgery, a bone graft to my femur and for two months I could only ride on a trainer and I thought that was going to be enough to make me just lose my mind but someone told me about Zwift. 2014 I had a leg injury. Um, I used to be a triathlete before and um, I kept on doing the sport but I couldn't really run anymore so at one point I just decided that it's not going to go anywhere and then I heard about the Swift Academy. Zwift is a, a software that allows you to virtually ride indoors on your bike with anybody around the world that's riding at the same time. We partnered with Canyon SRAM Racing to uh, host a talent ID competition in the game. So where anybody in the world could basically try out for a chance to win a pro contract with Canyon SRAM Racing. I got to the semifinals and it was almost I don't want to say a joke. I mean, it was, I worked very hard at it, but my friends were just like, I hadn't even been on a bike for a year. And I was like, can you imagine? What if I go to Mallorca? And then they're just like, you can't ride a bike, <laughs> you know? And But I was just like, I just want to get there. I want to have that experience. And I want to meet these girls and I want to see what that life is like, but I won't win. Even if I make it to Mallorca, I won't win. And then I won <laughs> and my life changed. <laughs> I mean, you think about winning, you think about how it might be, but you actually never really think that it's gonna happen. And like in the finals, like hearing my name still gives me like goosebumps. You know that from one second, your dream comes true and your life is gonna change completely. So it was just like an incredible feeling. I had my final exams during the semi-finals. You think about winning, you think about your exams, you think about either I'm gonna be a pro cyclist or I'm gonna be a doctor. So but kind of both stresses you out a little bit. I think a lot goes through your mind. You know, it's like disbelief and excitement and I won't lie and say it wasn't a little bit terrifying because suddenly, I mean, I had a very stable job and I had a very stable, normal, not near as exciting or adventurous, but I had, I had a life. But yeah, it was intimidating just to race and with and for the girls that you admire that much um, because you know, just know them from TV and like watching races and you look up to them and suddenly you're like sharing your room with them and yeah, they're like, just like your friends, your teammates. Well, my biggest ambition I'd say is to, um, to prove myself and to be the best teammate I can be. Um, which worked out quite well in Yorkshire, I guess. Um, I think I did a good job there. Like the behavior from the girls towards me changed like from stage to stage when they saw like, okay, they can really work with me and I support them like 100%. Um, and I'm like a full-fledged team member, not on only the Swifty. We're trying to fit in and not be in the way. And then the girls want to be accepting, but also, you know, you're a top ranked team in the world and suddenly you've got two riders that want to be part of that team and want to help, but really hadn't quite found the niche how yet. So I think it's just been a challenge. I literally haven't been on a bicycle for three years, and most of these girls have been doing it since they were 10. So I try to still give myself a little grace, but at the same time, it's like at some point you have to adapt to those things and step up. And I've improved so, so much as a cyclist. I kind of feel that I want to prove that Swift Academy is a good thing, that there's not only like one way into the peloton, because yeah, for example, if you have been in another sports that include cycling as I've been, um, maybe you have the performance, just not like the connections to get into teams. So I just want to show kind of the peloton and like the DSs from other teams maybe that there's, that this is a good thing. and. Um, yeah, that it's kind of an opportunity instead of like a burden for the peloton. And um, yeah, so far I'm just happy to be in the team and I enjoy every single moment.